Okay, in this video we're going to continue on the parameters and discuss uh, the attachment and the bar parameters. Now these are applications that are not very uh, common for dentists uh, to A, understand or, or, or B, even uh, think about doing. But uh, they're, they are in the software, so it's good to know, and, and especially the attachment may have uh, some small applications for dentists. So let's start with the attachments. We'll click on that, and you can see uh, here we've got a precision attachment on the side of this crown and just going through these one by one uh, they seem to make sense and you can you can just play with them themselves and get a very visual idea of what they do so this is just the the attachment diameter here on that circular diameter the abutment height and the way that 4.0 is and, and you'll see in some of these clinical examples of uh, attachments that you know you can control a lot of this on the fly so even though you're, these are your initial parameters we have scale functions in the software that allows you to control these attachments up and down very quickly. Uh, length obviously controls the length of that attachment into the pontic. This is either going to be a distal attachment, uh, you know, for for something, or if you're going to make a stress breaker, you can actually make a stress breaker bridge with these and have a pontic here with a female receptacle for that circular attachment. So width again, control the width, gingival distance move this up and down. Again, in the software we can position this up and down. Gingival adaptation is actually pretty important. It's always defaulted to be adapted to the gingiva, uh, especially in the case of doing a stress breaker. You're not going to want that to happen. You want to click that off and actually have it off the gingiva. You can use a scale function to move that up and down and change it. And the attachment spacer value, this is in fact, uh, you can see that this is a pontic here. We're making a stress breaker bridge. So this is going to be the spacer on the inside, which I usually have a little bit higher here. Uh, so that's the spacer inside that pontic, which is going to have that female receptor for that uh, circular attachment. So that's what the attachment uh, spacer value is. Uh, finally, the shoulder width of the attachment you can see is just down there towards the tissue. Uh, if you're having it attached to the tissue and you want to rest, you can uh, actually adjust the, the attachment shoulder width. Okay, so moving on to the bar. Now this is something that uh, typically you know you, you might do if you're doing some major fix uh, pros work underneath a, a you know a implant supported denture with multiple implants. This is showing creating telescope crowns attached to a bar here. So again, bar height, bar width, bar cone angle. You can switch the angle of that cone depending on what's going to be going over the top there. The smoothing radius is going to be the radius of the attachment to those telescopes there. And the bar interdental space at the bottom. Okay, so those are the uh, parameters for attachments in the bar. And uh, in the further videos, we'll finish up with uh, the Pontic's uh, veneering structures for crowns and the model.